Morning YouTube, Skipper T here. Just want to do a quick product review with you. Um, the folks over at Shining Buddy Headlamps got a hold of me. This would have been the middle of June. It's currently the middle of August. And they asked me if I would be kind enough to do a review on their headlamps, which you see right here. And they, uh, I agreed to do that. Uh, they'd seen my videos, liked, liked them. And so they sent me two of these units. Um, I'm not getting paid to do the endorsement. I do get to keep the headlamps. That um, was part of the deal. And they said that, you know, review them, test them out. If you like them, shoot a video on it. If you don't, no harm, no foul. Well, I tell you what, I'm going to go ahead and shoot the video on this because i got to tell you what, I'm really happy with, with these particular headlamps. Um, they just come in a small box like this, and, you know, it's, it's, it's a headlamp, but it's 110 lumens. It um, has 110 lumen setting. It's got a half setting, so it's going to be about 50, roughly. Um, it has a, a red setting. I'm sorry. has a red setting, and it has a flashing red setting. So, all in all, you get four different types of light, um, very, very bright white light, um, then one that's half of that, and then again the two red settings. I tell you what, they're, they're large, they fit on the forehead nicely, they're very, very comfortable. I'll zoom in here and, um, and let you know, and we'll, we'll do a close-up on it, I'll show you the batteries. In fact, I've had these for two months and I'm still using the batteries they came out of the package with. Um, so that's just a, you know, it's a testament to the LED and, and ultimately to these things. Um, I've used them every other day, every third day or so. If I want to walk back and forth between my shop and the house at night, uh, instead of turning on the exterior light, I'll flip one of these things on. I'll run, rummage around through my shop until I get everything I need. Then I'll turn my lights on. You know, I've been out hiking in the woods. Um, I get up every morning and walk two miles at five o'clock. And here lately we've had some cloud cover and some various other things and of course you know the days are getting shorter now and um, so we've been carrying these with us just when a car comes at us we'll flash them you know turn them on point them at the ground and stuff uh, we wear reflective vests because we live out in the country so um, they've been working out just for a whole plethora of applications if you're going to carry a headlamp or a flashlight in your car if you look at some of my other videos, if you go under playlists and look at survival kits, I wouldn't hesitate to throw one of these in there, um, especially something that you keep in your car. It takes three AAA batteries to run this. I'd put fresh ones in it. I'd take three more together and put them somewhere else. But if you're going to, you know, drive back and forth, especially, you know, I know it's August, it's hotter than heck, the dog days of summer, but it's not going to be too long before. Frankly, you know, we get up, it's dark. We, we come home from work, it's dark. So... You know, getting a couple of these currently, if I'm not mistaken, they were running $12.95 on the Amazon uh, website for these guys. And, um, I mean, I'd buy one for everybody in the family and for every vehicle that you've got out there, and I would fully stock them. That's, that's how bright, how comfortable. And so far, after two months of, of doing my thing with them, you know, I'm, I'm that impressed that I would put them in my vehicle. I have multiple headlamps. Um, I've got some, you know, some other ones that I've carried with me for a year or two, and you know, I'm, they're still going to go in my pack because they're very small. They're very compact. Um, probably, I don't know, two thirds the size of one of these. But I got to tell you what, this is going in there too because this just flat lights up the night. Um, tell you what, stay with me. Let's zoom in on these, and um, I'll kind of. I'll see what, you know, we'll go through that and I'll put a tape on it so you can see how big they are. Okay guys, here we are. Back looking at these headlamps a little closer up. Kind of a neat feature on this, obviously. They're going to rotate. Um, they'll rotate 60 degrees down from your head so that you got a good vision quest looking straight down on that. Or not straight down, but at a 60 degree angle. Which I find to be perfect for working with your hands. Um, you know, if you're going to read or something like that with this, it tends to work very well. Um, I have I have been extremely happy with these so far. I cannot complain. Um, again, it's got a little clip up here at the top. Just cut my fingernails so it's hard to get in. And again, these are the batteries that originally came with both of these units, and I have yet to replace them. And they are still going strong. In fact, like I said, I've had these for two months. 
I tried to devise a way to show these at night where you could see what I was seeing because they will just flat out, you know, light up the night. Um, you know, with one of these on my head, I've got a, sh a shed out back behind the shop, probably a good 200, maybe 220 feet, and it'll, it will illuminate the front of that building so that I can see it with my eyes. I tried to do that with my camera, but unfortunately the camera wouldn't do that. But I, did th I do think I developed a pretty decent way to show you guys how, how bright these are at night. And again, with the original batteries that they came with. Um, they come in two colors. They come in a green and an orange here. Uh, the folks over there I did see on their website, they're gonna, gonna come out with one that's a gray colored. Hopefully the gray will be in you know where the white is here. I would prefer that as a, as a bushcraft or a camper survivalist prepper whatever you want to be um, anything that would reflect would not reflect light in that situation now I have ridden these with my bicycle and I got to tell you what I was never there was never any doubt about what was in front of me while I was riding it with my bicycle these things are very nice the strap on these is about an inch um, inch wide it's obviously elastic it's adjustable um, it's just, you know, this is all around a, a great headlight. And with this being this wide up here, I have to tell you, this is very comfortable on the forehead. Uh, one of my mainstays that I've been carrying for a year, um, it's a lot smaller than this. It's a Princeton P-Tech Byte, B-Y-T-E. And it's probably half, you know, maybe two thirds this width, half to two thirds this width. And after a while, it starts to dig into the forehead a little bit. Never had that issue with these just because of the width and the fact that it's spread out across your, your forehead a lot better that way. So again, guys, two of these, um, I, am, I am tickled pink with them. I'm sure you will be too. I've not heard of, um, I've not read anything bad about them, but I will tell you this, I've seen that people have done reviews on these, but since I was going to do the review, I have not watched those. I wanted my review to be unbiased in my personal experience with them. Overall, guys, I, you know, for 12, 13, 14 bucks, buy half a dozen of these things and put them in your, you know, put them in your car, put them in each room in your house so that you know where they are. Put one in the, in the drawer of your nightstand. I got to tell you what, nothing like being hands-free when you really need to be able to use both hands. Anyway, what we'll do here is we'll show a little size comparison, or not comparison, but Looks to me like these are two and seven eighths inches wide. Width wise, oh, I'm gonna call that right at one and one half. Well, about one and five eighths from top to bottom. Well, you know, this way, uh, two and seven eighths across. Again, this is very comfortable, very lightweight for a three for a three battery headlamp. I really don't think you can go wrong with that. Um, that's just my personal opinion on that. Now what we're going to do is we're going to go out into the backyard. I'm going to show you how I shot this video. What I did was I took a 100-yard tape measure and I put a piece of paper on the back of my shop, an 8x11, just white piece of paper, taped it up, and then I put a couple of stakes in the ground, one at 20 feet, which is where I left the camera so it can see this. Then I went and put a 40 foot and a 50 foot out there and then you will see me, you know, shining on that piece of paper on the back of my shop and then panning around a little bit too. That was the only way I could get my camera to show you how bright it was at night. And um, again, you know, I could stand up against my shop door and 220, 225 feet away in my backyard. I've got a shed and I could see it fine. It's just the camera couldn't pick it up. But um, anyway, I think you guys will find that interesting. Stay with me and we'll get outdoors. Been trying to devise a way to show the luminosity of these Shining Buddy headlamps. This is a 110 lumen light headlamp. We're doing this at night. We are currently standing 20 feet from my garage door. Hopefully you'll be able to see the outline of that door. And in the center of the door there, or not in the center, but on the side there, I put a 8x11 piece of paper. And I am standing 20 feet away. That is full bright. And that is half bright. That's the red one. Red flashing, which you're probably not going to be able to see. But that's at, the, at 20 feet on full intensity. And that's pretty bright light. 
you can definitely see the outline of the door and everything else there. Now I'm going to run back to, I've pre-marked a couple of spots. This is 20 feet. I'm going to step back to the 40 foot mark and then I'm going to go out to 50 feet. the headlamp at 40 feet on bright that's at half and again to bright now I'm going to go back to the 50 foot mark that is 50 feet on full bright, that is 50 feet on half, and again 50 feet on full, 40 foot at the full intensity, and here I am coming back in to 20 feet at full intensity. So that got, gives you guys a pretty good idea of how bright this light is. This is actually a very nice headlamp. In fact, I'll just pan around here, see the door to my shop. Pan up, you can see the lights at the roof there, reflecting back. And again, there's that piece of paper and we're at 20 feet here. This is a very, very bright light. This looks and works very well. Pan off to the left here a little bit. And that's the fence. My big tree over there back behind it, you probably won't be able to see that. But again, now that door is gonna be probably about 30 feet away. We get 10 feet closer and here we are again at 20 feet. This is an extremely bright headlamp. Very nice headlamp. I highly recommend this. All right, YouTube, in conclusion, you can't go wrong. 12, 15 bucks for one of these on Amazon. Like I said, buy half a dozen of them. Put them all over your house. Um, there's just, there's no excuse not to have hands-free lighting at 110 lumens. Um, any time that you might need a power outage, emergency, whatever the case might be, um, you know, these are great. Put them in your car. Extra batteries, don't be caught, you know, short-handed. But I gotta tell you what, guys, um, just personally speaking, and you can see how bright that is. Holy cow, I can't shine it at the camera. Um, you can't go wrong. I, I really believe that for this price point, um, these are brighter than a lot of a lot of flashlights that my friends have, the high-tech, the tactical little lights, you know, they're about the size of a medium cigar or something and about three or four inches long and, and you know, oh my god, they got all these lumens and stuff and I tell you what, these things weigh just about as much. Um, they go on your forehead so it's a lot easier, you don't always have to have a hat on or something to clip the light to. Um, you know, this this is just good, good old-fashioned stuff to have with you or items to have with you in a, a survival kit, like I said, all over your cars, in your house, etc. You know, guys, I, I have to admit, I've, I've put them through the paces for two months. I'm happy with them. In fact, I'm going to go ahead and buy a couple more of these and put these out in, in, in our vehicles. Yes, I carry a backpack and everything else and I have my other lamps, but you know, at this price point, redundancy is affordable and I'm going to exercise that option. Anyway, guys, thanks for watching. Keep your eyes open, keep your heads up, and we'll see you outside.